Greetings trainers, welcome to Steel Gym. I am Gym Leader David, and today I've got something new for you. I have got here five random booster packs for the Pokemon TCG from Korea. Now, I'm a big fan of Korean cards. I love the way the language looks. It's a language I'm planning on learning. I'm just a big fan of how they package their cards like the, the Japanese, but with English elements to them, which are quite cool. I also love the price point. These five packs cost me £5.50, which was including shipping. That was on eBay and uh, best offer. So other prices may differ, but I've got a box of GX Ultra Shiny coming soon as well, which will be opened on the channel when it arrives, um, which should be good because the Japanese and Korean versions are identical. So there should be a, a GX in every pack, I think. But for now, let's get started we've got two moon packs one islands await one alola moonlight and one ultra dimensional beasts so we'll start at the beginning see what we get it's supposed to be easy open <laughs> So first off we've got a Corsola, I want to see Palo Sand, I can never remember which way around they are. A Pelipper, a Charger Bug, and a Rainbow Energy. Nothing too special out of that first pack. But yeah, see what I mean by English, that the Japanese cards have the silver border and a different back, but these get the English style backs, which are quite cool. Go for the second moon pack. That's a little bad. Not great. So we have Trumbeak, a Lolan Grimer, a Fomentis, either Palo Sand or Sandy Guess, I can't remember again, and a regular rare uh, Dragonair. Nothing too spectacular from the sun packs. Let's Move on to Islands Await You. See what we get in it, for God's sake. <laughs> See what we get in this one. Ooh, a little Vulpix. That's a good start. It's a good card. So, yeah, a little Vulpix. A really ugly looking Gothita. A Nose Pass. Uh, I want to say Energy Lotto. And a regular uh, uh, victory bell. Yeah, look, that's another thing. See, it's got the oh, focus. It has the Japanese set of numbers. There you go. I think the K does mean Korean. No, it's uncommon. It's not a rare. I'm, I said rare. No, that's not a rare either. <laughs> and I don't think. No, and the. Uh, uncut this uh, the rainbow energy is uncommon too. Looks like you're not guaranteed. A rare in these packs. Did not know this. Interesting. Hopefully we'll get something before we reach uh, the end of these five packs. This is um, a Lulu Moonlight. Honestly, don't remember what this one's called now. Oh, I'm gonna get so killed for not knowing this. No, gone. Not clear. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> Tentacle. Talon Flame. See, I know that one. And ugh, an Alamola. Also uncommon. Come on, Guzzlord. Lord. Give me something good. So, Jigglypuff, Mistress, Dino, such a really weird and awesome art, an Oruguru, and oh, a holo, we did end with a holo. It's a Jangmo. And yeah, yeah, definitely are rare. 
Say hello. Because it's the only one, only hollow I got will, uh, will sleeve that. Looks pretty cool. I, uh, I am planning on getting a binder when we get the GX shiny box, because that should be quite cool. Yeah. Uh, and then we'll put together a cool little binder of these Korean cards. Now I'm planning on buying a few different products to open. The Korean market has some interesting products that we don't get. Like there's GX, Starter X for like Lycanroc and um, Tapu Bulu GX that has the V-Cavolt. So it's basically a, what was a meta deck at one point. Um, it's very interesting to see the different things that you can get outside of our TCG market. So I'll be buying a few different things for us to open up on the channel and hopefully you'll enjoy those. Until next time, trainers, catch you later. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Catch you next time, trainers.